Hello and welcome back to this video series where we're looking at building an e-commerce platform in 25 days using Next, Netlify and Stripe. So in this video, we're going to look at creating a Stripe account. It's going to be quite a short video, but I thought I'd keep it nice and isolated um, in case you already have a Stripe account. If you do, you can probably just skip this one. So if you head on over to the Stripe website, so stripe.com, um, and then we're going to click this sign in button here. Uh, and if you haven't created an account, you'll click sign up um, and step through this uh, these very short form of questions um, and then create your account. Once you have created your account, uh, you'll land on this dashboard. And uh, it's probably a good idea to, to have a little bit of a poke around and see all the cool stuff that, that Stripe offers. They give you a bunch of like reports and like specific monitoring stuff around uh, your developer keys and things. It's uh, yeah, it's super cool. So in the next video, we're going to start uh, playing with these API keys, which is what's going to let our Netlify function uh, talk to our Stripe account. And so um, we'll need these keys and you'll see uh, we have test API keys and we have live keys. So test keys are what we can use in our local environment when we're building our application. And then the live keys are what we're gonna use in production. But you see that this is uh, locked until we um, activate our account. And so in order to activate our account, we need to go and verify our email. So make sure that uh, you signed up with a valid email address and you go and click the verify email uh, button in that email. You'll then see we need to add some business details to activate our account. So if I click start now, uh, it's just gonna step us through a few questions. And hey, make sure you uh, enter real details in there. And if you don't have an ABN yet, uh, you can click here to apply and step through that process. Uh, or whatever you need in terms of your tax situation of the country that you're that you're in right now. And we've got more stuff to fill out. Okay, so this one actually matters for what your customers will see um, when they have been charged. And if you want to add a shortened descriptor for whatever your your thing, I mean, all of my stuff is gonna be dope stuff. So, I mean, I want a dope t-shirt, dope basketball hoop, dope whatever. Cool, and hopefully that's it. Ah, oh, okay. And I think we can skip the rest of these. No. Okay, so in our verification summary, it's gonna tell us anything that might be missing. So you might need to go through and, you know, fix up some of those sections if there's anything that you need. So for example, I still need to set up two-factor authentication. Uh, and so I can do that by clicking this add and then, uh, yeah, just work your way through any of those sections that uh, are required. Okay, cool. And so now I am good to submit. So if there were any of those uh, mandatory questions that you weren't able to fill in, like for example, if you need to go and apply for an ABN or something like that, uh, you can continue on with this video series and you'll still be able to run everything in your testing environment. You just won't be able to deploy um, a real version of uh, production until you get uh, that additional information. So uh, if you click under get your API keys now, um, you should be able to enable this uh, live API keys tab uh, if you've if you've entered all of your business details correctly. Um, but if this is still locked, you just need to address whatever you couldn't do there um, before we push it to Netlify in the last video. But for the next video, uh, the next two videos, we'll be dealing uh, with local test API keys. Okay, cool. So hopefully now we have uh, Stripe entirely set up and ready to go. Uh, in the next video, we're going to look at secrets in Netlify. I'll see you there.